Hi, my name is Jim, and I'm the owner of a gun shop called Gunworks in Harrington, Maine. I'm a gunsmith. Today's video, we're going to show the versatility of a smoothbore flintlock musket. Sometimes people look and say, well, God, a flintlock and a smoothbore on top of that? Not very accurate. But in some states in this country, you have to hunt with a shotgun. So if you're going to hunt with a shotgun, why not an old shotgun? So what we're going to do is we're going to load and fire a musket. The flintlock musket I'm going to use today is the Peter Solly Reproduction Brown Bore Smooth Bass Musket, 75 caliber. What we're going to do is we're going to go through the loading techniques. Now, you never, never, never want to load directly out of your powder horn. So, always keep a nice little powder measure handy. We're going to load 100 grains of powder. And this is 1F, since we're above 50 caliber. Now, what's really handy is if you uh, roll your own paper cartridges, and I'll do a video on that next. But right now, just to show you what we're going to do, we're going to load this thing like this. Our lead balls are 598 grain, about an ounce and a half. Out of my possibles bag, I've got a priming flask. Now this gun's live. What I like to do when I'm going to get ready for a second shot is I'll blow down the muzzle to make sure there's no sparks inside the bore. So when I dump the next powder charge, I don't have to worry about it flashing up in my hand. Now if you're going to load bird shot in one of these smooth bores, you're going to need three other things besides a round ball. First off, you're going to have an over powder wad. You're going to have a felt wad for the shot. And you're going to have a card wad to go over top of the shot. So let's load this up with bird shot and give it a try. I don't have it with me today, but I've got a little shot snake that automatically dispenses my hunting load. So after you have your powder in, <clears throat> first thing we're going to put in is your over powder wad. Next will come your shot wad. an ounce and a half of shot that I've already pre-measured. And then last is your overshot wad. It's just a little thin card. Now 75 caliber smoothbore brown bass is a little bit larger than 12 gauge and a little bit smaller than 10 gauge. So you can call it an 11 gauge shotgun. Now let's give this a try. Let's go down and take a look at our target. Now if you'll look at here, you see our three quarter inch diameter hole and all these pellets all around the cardboard target we were shooting at from back there by my truck. 
uh, in an area where you're kind of limited to hunting with shotguns, uh, I can think of the state of Ohio for one, Massachusetts for another. If you have to hunt with a shotgun, why not make it a flintlock smoothbore shotgun? You have the versatility of being able to use bird shot. You have the versatility of being able to use a 598 grain lead ball. And the accuracy is pretty darn acceptable in hunting conditions. Thank you for watching this latest Gunworks video. Down East Gunworks is a full service farm repair service for all your long guns and handguns that includes a high tech machine shop for tooling obsolete parts. Old or new, if you have a farm that needs attention, Gunworks can probably fix it, solve it, code it, and make it work. If you're living in Down East Maine, come by the shop for a visit. We're located on Route 1 in Harrington. If you live elsewhere, you can reach us by going to the website www.downeastgunworks.com or call in the shop at area code 207-483-2175. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please leave me a comment and rate the video. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll always know when I've posted something new. And thanks again for watching.